So hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform matrix addition in C++. So we're going to type a program. We're going to explain it, compile it, run it, and get the output correctly. Come on, let's get started. I am using Dev C++ IDE, and you can open your preferred IDE. Post file, no? yes. And let's get started. So first, I'm starting with that header file. I was stream. Then using namespace std. in main open curly bracket so for this we need actually three matrices so two of them will be actually the given matrices we are going to input the values for that and the third one will be the result so we are going to declare three matrices so int a let it be three cross three matrix and uh, you can be always so you can be you can get the input from the user let me assume it as three cross three matrix so it will be code will be easy for you Three cross three, A, B, and C. Everything will be of integer type. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take the input for matrix A. So for that we are going to need two for loops. So for int i equal to zero, i less than three, i plus plus. For int j equal to 0 j less than 3 j plus plus let's open another curly bracket so why two for loops you can may ask so uh, three cross three matrix has about you can fill nine elements three rows and three columns so the first row will be 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 2 2 0 2 1 2 2 so these are going to be the index value of those elements present in the matrix so first during the uh, first for loop i value will be 0 and j for loop will run for 3 times so it corresponds to 0 1 0 2 0 0 0 0 1 and 0 2 and next i value will be incremented it will become i will be 1 and j will run from 0 1 2 so 1 0 1 1, 1 0 1 1 and 1 2 so that's how it is done so it's simple just uh, see out really would find okay let's continue so see in we are getting elements for it just copy this Simple code copy C paste this and enter the A matrix should be good and B matrix. Ah, we forgot another important thing we need to we forward to add slash here and that's another using yonder. So that's pretty much good. And uh, just uh, then, just we need to do a modify here. Right? See out. So after this, only we are going to do the sum. So the sum is uh, not another under work here. Okay, now the sum. So what we are going to do is we are going to sum the post current position of each element in one matrix A to the equivalent position of to the matrix B. So zero one of matrix A will be added to zero one of matrix B. Zero two of matrix A will be added to 0 2 of matrix B, so that's how it's going to happen. So, just it's a simple code again. You just you're going to just copy that. So, just three copy and paste. So, writing is going to be difficult, but programming is just simple. It's a five minutes program. Actually, in many practical exams, they would ask this question just a simple one. So, now here we are going to use just remove this. So, we will sum. That's it. So, just C. So, now the result C of IJ is equal to A of i j plus b of i j that's it so sum is performed do not double equal to equality single so we have got the sum and just print it so now all the sum is stored in c so just, just print so again copy so if you are copying it's third time I think so copy and just remove this and see out so actually we need to use here slash t I don't know how it is going to work slash t I think this is the correct way to use it 
field last and I think it will throw an error I think so I don't know confirm. Yeah I found the error. 